Hello and welcome to Kigali, Rwanda and the 2018 African Regional Conference. I'm joined now by El Farouk Umar, who is the Chief Information Officer at GCB Bank. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you. Now, you've just finished a panel this morning on cybersecurity and the challenges on the road ahead. Um, obviously, this is a growing concern for banks around the world, but also obviously in Africa. Um, so give us a sense of, of uh, your scorecard for African financial institutions and where they stand in terms of readiness for cyber security threats? On a score from one to ten, I, I score Africa about four. We are not at five yet. Uh, we are improving, but we still have a long way to go. Uh, we're still behind the curve because uh, we're still doing a lot of brick and mortar banking and venturing into the cyber cybersecurity space without any strategy in place. So this is obviously quite a low score and obviously quite quite worrying in some respects. How do you change, uh, I guess, the way the African financial institutions engage with cybersecurity? How can you fix that, that issue? Uh, the issue has to be fixed at the top. Basically, resource allocation comes from the board and the executives. And if they don't buy into cybersecurity, they don't understand cybersecurity, they don't understand the risk and the impacts, and the central banks okay, have little capability of understanding this area, very little governance and regulations in place to guide banks to go uh, into the right direction, then we will continue to see these problems. However, as banks are being forced by international organizations such as SWIFT and uh, other counterpart banks okay, that are being used for transactions, what has happened is that local banks are being forced to adopt best practices to be able to play in the banking game. Okay, so in the past it's been a question of just uh, sort of leadership and awareness around issues of cybersecurity and perhaps not being there, but that's changing now, you think? That, that is changing now. Also, banking is changing. It's no longer brick and mortar and it's no longer centralized, it's decentralized. It used to be that a bank did not have externally interconnected systems. They had their servers, they served their branches, and that was the end of the story. Today, they have mobile banking connections, they have internet banking connections, they have cards, they have all type of payment solutions and all type of solutions that are externally integrated into their system. However, most banks continue to use the old standards of controls to try to manage this new paradigm. I see. So that's changing, which is, which is an encouraging sign. It is changing. It is changing, but it's quite slow. The amount of money and investments that are put is not enough. There is also a big deficiency in technical competence on the, comp uh, on the continent. So we have to rely on buying expertise from outside of the continent to come help us resolve some of the issues. Okay, and so over time with the right investment and the right awareness and leadership in place, that should obviously take a different direction. But let me ask you about um, the future and what you see as perhaps the biggest uh, threat or concern on the horizon for, for, for African financial institutions when it comes to, to issues of cybersecurity. Is market penetration and awareness because as we open up to the population in the rural areas and across the continent, we are opening up to a space that is unknown. How the people adopt the technology and use the technology. Then we have the issues of cross-border transactions because now with cyber, there is no physical barriers. There are only logical barriers. So today, if I'm an MTN customer and I want to send money from Rwanda to Malawi and MTN operates over there, I'm able to do it. So yes, I would rather go with all the efficiencies that these new systems are bringing in. However, before we adopt, we need to be prepared. 
Farouk, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.